One is if you look at, at the, at the economy-wide level and you rank each country their score according to each pillar, what you find is in every scale, India, China, India, and US seems to be the three dominant players. Actually, China, uh, so US and China seems to be the dominant player. India is somehow doing well in connect and harness, which is very big on scale, but not so well in innovate, protect, and the overall score. But, but nevertheless, there is, seems to be a bit of a scope for India to catch up and be what we think is the third largest pole in the global digital landscape. Digital public infrastructure uh, is basically a public internet infrastructure that has been created. And here by public, I don't mean government owned, but let's say government patronized or with the help of government, public and private sector institutions have come together to create an infrastructure on which a lot of private sector innovation is happening. Building Aadhaar was not just to provide people an identity because a lot of identities already existed. If you see in this slide, we start off with passport, driving license, voter ID card, all of these passports being, um, you know, your ID for citizenship, driving for driving licenses, voter ID for, so all of these already existed. So why did we need Aadhaar? Why did we need, so it wasn't only for the purposes of having an identity, but for the purposes of having an identity that solved problems of delivery of services, that solved problems of verification, that solved problems of trust and verification.